Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make these lace and pearls earrings. So let's start. I'll use tape measure, fabric glue, 20 gauge wire, flat nose plier, round nose plier, side cutter to cut the wire, earring wires, Swarovski teardrop crystal beads, flat back pearls, loose silver chain, Swarovski white pearls in 6mm and 8mm, some flat back rhinestones in different sizes and colors, and some lace fabric, and scissors. First, I'll cut the small flower shape from the lace fabric. It's a good size for my design today. Then use side cutter to cut roughly 1.5 cm chain. Prepare two pieces for a single earring. I'll apply fabric glue to the center of the flower and place a flat back pull. Do the same for the other side. Then use round nose plier to make a loop with 20 gauge wire. I'm going to make a small teardrop shape. Use flat nose plier to make the loop look nicer. It's quite a small loop. I'll cut roughly 3 cm and place a 6 mm white pearl. Then use flat nose plier to bend the wire less than 90 degrees because I like the loop to be in a teardrop shape. Use round nose plier to make a loop and cut the extra. So we've got this pearl link. Make another one using the same way. Then use round nose plier to make a bigger size loop in U shape. And cut it. Connect the U shaped loop and the 1.5 cm chain. Make the loop go through the top of the lace flower and close the loop and move this part upside down. Open the loop of the first pearl link, connect with the chain and close the loop. Use the same way to connect the pearl with the other 1.5 cm chain. Connect with the other pearl link and connect with the earring wire. So we've finished the first design. Okay, let's see the second. I'll cut one section from the other piece of lace fabric. It looks like beautiful feather in some way. Make a pearl link with 8mm white pearl. And another link with teardrop shaped crystal. Here I'll connect the earring wire with the pearl link first. Just like open the loop, connect them together and close the loop. Very easy. Now connect the other side of the pearl with the lace and close the loop. Use the same way to connect the crystal link with the lace fabric. It's a very beautiful shape. So now I'll design and decorate the lace with rhinestones. Bigger pieces in the middle line and two small pieces for the short sections and three pieces for the long sections. I used fabric glue to attach them. You can do both sides or just one side. 
So that's the second design. Hope you guys liked today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.